So a funny thing happened, which is that back in 2019, when the book Watching Your Life came through, I made a promise to all of my friends that I would work on a new book called The Folly of Enlightenment, which would be out within a year or so. And then I discovered that the folly that is enlightenment also confirms the folly of writing a book about that folly. So it never got worked on. And then today I was just posting a, a small answer on Quora, and I noticed that I had written the entire folly of enlightenment, except it was only one page long, which is great because who needs another whole thick book about enlightenment? So instead of releasing a book, I thought I would simply share the folly of enlightenment, the open secret about enlightenment, right here in this video. So here goes. No human can attain or has ever attained enlightenment. Yes, this does include all the apparent ancient spiritual sages and revered religious figures who claimed enlightenment and then offered a path, any path, for all non-enlightened humans to follow, practice, and attain enlightenment too. Personal enlightenment is an oxymoron because there never was a separate person, separate from wholeness or oneness or the self or beloved or whatever you like, who had to attain or reunify with wholeness. Ramana Maharshi said it best, the self is always the self and there is no such thing as attaining it. Who is to attain what and how when all that exists is the self? The collapsing of that false construct of a separate me is what some me minds have called liberation or enlightenment. But nothing actually happened because that which collapsed was only an illusion. And that which it appeared to have collapsed into was just reality, the natural reality. So the whole, I'm enlightened, you are not yet, but you should be, it's your purpose in life, and here's a path and a set of practices to attain what I have attained, is total bullocks, total illusion within the dream. And if enlightenment was supposed to be a concept to give humanity a sense of purpose, boy, did it fail miserably. At any given point in the illusion of human history, no more than 1% have ever even set the goal of enlightenment as their purpose. And of those, less than a tenth of a percent, probably less than a ten thousandth of a percent, have ever experienced the illusory dissolution of the false me identity, such that some other illusory me's would call them liberated or enlightened. The only thing that gives the dream me, humanity, a sense of purpose is perpetuating the myth of me, survival, and trying to negotiate a better life experience. That's it. So here's how that illusory sense of purpose appears to have come about. When we're a baby, there's only oneness, this everything, no separation from the wholeness. Then somebody calls us a name, tells us we are an individual and must live a worthy life, be a good student, parent, provider, etc. Thus, we form a false center called me, which is separate from everything and every other me outside it and from which we constantly attempt to negotiate life with an imagined free will. But in the end, there's nothing happening. Just nothing appearing as everything. Just an appearance. Now, mind cannot get this, so it will argue that we are real and we have to strive to attain 
this wholeness nothingness that we already are. If, as a me mind, you want to argue the we must do something, attain something, go ahead. Pick a path, find a teacher or a guru, and practice like hell to attain enlightenment. The me loves its seeking and its story. Perhaps at one moment in the imagined future, you will see through the illusory everything to the no thing, the nothing, that only appears to be projecting it. At that moment, your entire path, practice, and world will crumble. And perhaps, in that moment, you will see the whole thing was a charade, a causeless, purposeless isness, and a dream. Talk to you again soon.